The Samsung Galaxy S24 FE looks a lot like an iPhone. It's got those smooth, curved edges and understated colors that Apple's known for. Personally, I like that minimalist vibe, but if you're looking for something more angular, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be a better fit. One thing I really like about this phone is the button placement. All the buttons are on one side. That's great when you're playing games or taking photos in landscape mode. The S24 FE is pretty durable. It's got scratch resistant glass and can even survive a quick dip in the water. The S24 FE screen isn't quite as sharp as the regular S24, but it's still really good. It's got a big 6.7 inches AMOLED display that looks great for watching videos or browsing the web. The colors are vibrant and the 120 Hertz refresh rate is smooth. You can customize the display settings to your liking too. There's a dark mode, a blue light filter, and even an always on display. Samsung has been really focused on AI lately, but I wasn't super impressed with the AI features on this phone. It's kind of hidden away in the settings. I had to download a few extra apps to get all the AI stuff working. One cool feature is Photo Assist, which lets you fix up your photos. It's pretty good at removing objects, Another fun feature is sketch to image. You can draw something and it turns into a picture. It's pretty cool. The Samsung Galaxy S24 FE's triple camera setup is a beast. It takes great pictures, even though it's not quite as sharp as the regular S24. It's got a cool three times zoom, which is pretty rare for a phone this price. I took a bunch of photos with it and they looked awesome. The colors are super vibrant and the details are sharp. Even indoor photos look pretty good. There's a ton of fun stuff you can do with the camera, like taking videos with both the front and back cameras at the same time. You can even shoot videos in 8K, which is crazy. Overall, the S24 FE's camera is a big deal. It's one of the best cameras you can get for this price. This phone comes with Exynos 2400E processor. It's a powerful processor. I used it for a lot of stuff like browsing the web, watching videos, and playing games. It was really fast and smooth. I never had any problems with it slowing down. The S24 FE's 4,700 milliampere battery is a beast. It lasts forever. I used it all day long, and it still had plenty of juice left. You can charge it wirelessly, and it can even charge other devices. It's like a little power bank. The only thing is that it's a bit hidden in the settings so you might have to look for it. Overall, the battery is amazing. It's one of the best things about this phone. With its premium design, powerful performance, and capable camera system, it's likely to be a popular choice for those who want a flagship-like experience without the flagship price. If you see it first time, you will notice this is a Samsung Galaxy and Note series hybrid. It's an excellent but massive Android handset that not only ticks all the important boxes, but delivers more features than you may ever want or use. The design is an echo of Samsung's last note device. It really is a hybrid. There will be no complaints about the ultra high resolution 6.8 inch screen, which offers brilliant colors and smooth motion at 120 Hertz, but it's also smart enough to stop down all the way to one Hertz when that's all you need to save on battery life. There is a quad camera setup here. There are two 10 megapixels telephoto lenses. There's also a 12 megapixels ultra wide with a 120 degree field of view. And then there's the 108 megapixels main wide camera with an 85 degree field of view. The camera array is strong. It's not a complete overhaul of the Galaxy S21's camera system. This is better. The optical and space zooms are simply marvels of modern technology. Virtually every image we shot looked great. The front and rear cameras do a nice job with portrait photography, courtesy of a portrait mode that's getting good enough to separate stray hairs from a bokeh background. On the front, there's a 40 megapixels camera. It produces evenly lit shot with a good amount of detail. The Galaxy S22 Ultra takes crisp looking video up to 8K at 24 FPS and can keep your footage looking super stable with its improved super steady mode, Samsung app that gives you full access to all the camera controls and lets you capture and save raw format photos, and the video conferencing app Google Duo, which both do an excellent job of showing off the phone's power and versatility, are the real highlights here.
If we were to judge the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra on its cameras, and in particular the optical and digitally enhanced zoom capabilities, we might call it the best smartphone ever. We also love the thin and light S Pen, and we're thrilled that it's finally integrated, literally, into the Galaxy line. It does so many things so well, and for productivity-focused mobile users, it could be a godsend. Performance-wise, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra's Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor performs amazingly. The point is we couldn't find a single app that was performing slow. This is also a gorgeous and quite powerful gaming phone. This device comes with 5,000 mAh battery with 25-watt fast charge, 15-watt wireless charge, and 4.5-watt reverse wireless charge support. It will easily last a full day of usage.